just thought I'd share this fun little bit with you guys. Um, I'm at my sister and brother-in-law's house in southwest Missouri, and they've got these couple of yearling white-tailed deer that just walked up in the backyard. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, and they're eating under this great big uh, white oak tree you see here. Let's see my finger in the lens. There you go. This big white oak tree here drops these great big acorns, so they come up and graze underneath it, but as lame as this is, I found it rather fascinating. I mean, I grew up in the country and you know, see deer all the time. It's no big deal to me, but of course all the little kids inside are having a blast with it staring out the windows looking at them. So I went ahead and snuck out here and, and walked around the corner of the house. And you can see they're both staring at me right now. They know I'm here, but they're just not threatened by me. I'm not sure why. I'm standing downwind, so they can't smell me. They can see me. And the thing with deer is you can see this one staring, the one on the left staring at us. She's got her ears tuned right in, so she's listening. And they can hear very well but they can only see movement. So if you're standing really still, they can't see you very well. But they can see movement very well. So since I'm standing as still as possible, leaned up against the house, she's really not threatened. And they're just standing there eating away. They actually did already see me once. I stepped out in the open and uh, they stood there. And, uh, the one on the right, she spotted me. She stomped a couple times, but I just backed up real slow and then went on about my business. Oh, she's getting a little spooked there, isn't she? But anyway, I just thought I'd show this to you guys. Uh, according to my brother-in-law, there's a uh, two farms over there's actually a, a deer farm, a guy that raises whitetails and uh, these are possibly some that uh, were wild that were outside the fence and then their mothers got shot during deer season or something and so they've been hanging around the farm but outside the fence and I guess they've gotten used to human you know smell and sounds and everything so I guess my talking is starting to drive them away now but you know I just like I said I just thought I'd come out here and make a little video of this and, and share it with you guys. It's a uh, it's kind of funny, this is the closest I've ever been to them alive and not had them run off. But uh, just thought it was kind of fun. I guess the other closest I've ever been was I was sitting in my deer stand and had a couple jump the fence under my stand, but then, well, you know, I was hunting and so the uh, the next morning they they were no more. So you can see there, there's one standing, she's still over here. I think y'all can see she's just to the right of the tree there. So they're kind of they're kind of heading off, but I'll, maybe I'm going to go back inside the house and see if, if I go away. Maybe they'll come back out here and start eating some more, but just wanted to share with you all. I thought it was kind of This is one of those acorns. This is, uh, I just walked up on the back porch. My brother-in-law got a pile up in here. So this is one of the acorns coming off that tree. It's no wonder the deer come up to that thing. That is for sure the biggest acorn I've ever seen in my life. And uh, probably most of y'all too. That It looks like a chestnut or something, but anyway, yeah. Perfectly understandable why the deer want to come up to that tree.